This is the baseline assessment workout for the 21 day challenge. You can do this as a standalone workout or you can use it to assess your strength and fitness level. The details are down below. We're gonna start with a nice warm up. Let's go ahead and go into some squat benders. You're gonna perform one squat, one toe touch. One squat, one toe touch. Try to keep those knees nice and straight as you touch those toes. As you perform that squat, hips back, heels down, knees are tracking the toes. Lumbar stays nice and flat like Sheen is demonstrating there. We've got another 20 seconds here of these squat benders. So we're gonna get your body nice and limbered up before we go into this assessment workout. Preparation is key before you test yourself here. We've got another five seconds and then we're gonna go into a standing folding star. Three, two, one. Let's raise those arms high and wide overhead. Right hand down to the left toe, left hand down to the right toe. Great job. When we are done with these standing folding stars, you're gonna keep your feet fairly wide here like they are now, and you're gonna do some alternating hip circles. So you're gonna do a hip circle one direction and then a hip circle the other direction. Three, two, one, like you're doing some hula hoops one direction and then hula hoops the other direction. Good job. Like you're one of those dashboard hula dancers. Good job. Alternating hip circles. And then we'll be following that up with some lizard lunge opener. So you're going to make your way down to the floor in about 10 seconds. Plank position. You'll bring your right foot outside of that right hand and then reach to the sky with that right hand. Three, two, one. Let's go down to the floor. Right foot outside of the right, reach to the sky with the right. Left foot outside of that left, reach to the sky with the left. Just keep alternating, try to get a good hip and oblique stretch here. Another 15 seconds and then you can lie down flat on your chest and stomachs and we're going to do a rolling scorpion. So your arms will be outstretched to a T and then you'll bring your right leg over your left side and then your left leg over your right side in three two, one. Sheena, show them how it's done. Okay, arm out to the side. Okay, left arm out. Then right leg goes over the left side. Good job. I paused the clock there for just a moment so you could watch for a second. And now the clock is rolling. So we've got about 20 more seconds. So you're getting a good shoulder bicep stretch here. You're getting a stretch through your thoracic spine, a little bit through your, your quad. We've got another five seconds and then we're going to do plank pike rocks three two one so you're going to go into a plank position and then you'll go into that pike really get into that stretch or sometimes we call it a down dog position three two one we're starting that timer now here so nice strong straight as an arrow plank and then into that pike or down dog position where you're getting a good stretch of those hamstrings and your lumbar shoulders, calves, 15 more seconds. And then we should be good and warm for section one of this 21 day challenge baseline strength assessment. Three, two, one, time. All right, so section one's real easy. We're gonna be doing back squats for two minutes. All right, and we've got a downloadable um, form for you to fill out. Just look down below and you'll find where you can download that so you can track your progress. But so the back squat with a single or double kettlebells, demonstrate the singles first, rest between your shoulder blades and then great squat form applies. Now, if you want an official power lifting USAPL squat, you want your hips to break the plane of your knees. All right. But just go down as far as you can comfortably go pain free. All right. This is the double version. And we're going two minutes non-stop. So I want you to count your reps, all right? However many you can do in two minutes. Sheena, are you ready? All right. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Good job. 
So this is two minutes in length. If you need to take a little pause, stand up straight, shake out those legs, you can do that. Make sure your heels are staying down. Your knees are going the same direction, your toes are pointed, your lumbar is staying flat. You don't want to be pitching forward. You may need to adjust your stance a little bit more narrow, a little bit wider, depending on your mobility levels. So this 21 day challenge, it is, there's something for you to do every single day, but there's mobility worked in there. There's active recovery. This is a very well thought out program. We've got one minute down. There's two major strength days and then there's two major assistance days that really uh, give you good balance uh, and symmetry so that you're not creating imbalances in your muscle groups, overtraining, all right? You're gonna be a well-oiled machine at the end of this 21 days. Now this assessment doesn't count as one of the 21 days. There's an extra assessment day at the beginning and the end of the 21 day challenge. So in all, it's actually 23 total days if you do both assessment workouts. We've got another five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, all right. How'd that feel, Sheena? Good, all right. So section two, just like the old presidential fitness test that we did in uh, elementary school, we've got your push-up test. Now I want you to do these however you do them best, okay? You do them on your knees or on your toes. Um, if you start on your toes and then you have to drop down to your knees, just keep a mental note of where you had to drop down so you have something to, to uh, gauge that against when you do it again in three weeks. All right, so push-ups, make sure the elbows track back towards the ribs, okay? Uh, your, your shoulders stay down, scapula back. All righty, it's just one minute to win it. Do your best in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Great job. You're doing awesome. 20 seconds down. Thirty more seconds. Nice. Fifteen more seconds. Four, three, two, one outstanding work great job that's always that's always one of the most challenging ones all right these push-ups are no joke all right section two is complete section three we're going to do those sit-ups okay curl ups so there's uh two ways you can do them all right i like to either uh put my hand to my opposite shoulder so you cross your arms right keep your fingertips on your shoulders you can do them that way or you can put your hands, you know, just above your ears, all right? Touch your head, but don't pull your head, all right? You don't wanna be using your arms to pull on your neck, okay? So those are the, the two options you have there. You can put your feet underneath the couch if you need to, but we've got one minute of sit-ups. Do your best in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, all the way up, all the way down. Shoulder blades to the ground each time.
30 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, all right. So that's all the body weight strength assessment workout. Now we're gonna get into those kettlebell ballistics. So section four, we're gonna be doing a jerks or push press, okay? So if you do jerks, we're gonna have you do jerks. So jerk is where you take that kettlebell into the rack position. And then from the rack, you're gonna use those powerful legs, basically a triple extension, essentially a jump, where you're gonna accelerate that bell overhead, drop underneath it, and then stand it up the rest of the way. Good. And now if you can't do the jerk, give me a push press where you get to use the legs, but the heels da stay down and there's no under squat. All right? You can do this singles or doubles, but keep in mind it is three minutes in length, so that could be really uh, challenging if you're not used to those uh, ballistic exercises. Uh, if you're doing single arm, you get one hand switch at the, at the halfway mark, and I will call it out for you. Sheena, you ready for those three minutes of jerks? Great. Can't wait to see how you do in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Elbow to hip, hop it and drop it. You want to squeeze that lemon. The more arm body contact you get, the more power from your legs you get to transfer through to the arm and kettlebell. Good job. Nice work. These are compound movements, meaning they use multiple muscle groups. It's really an ultimate test of strength and endurance coordination good job if you're new to this this is going to feel really challenging as you do the 21 day challenge we'll be talking about breathing that'll really give you a a boost as far as your performance goes when you start learning how to breathe and developing strength from those breathing patterns good job We've got 15 seconds till that arm switch. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time to switch. Decisions were made. Great work. Good job. So I can hear Sheena breathing now. She started to use that anatomical match breathing. She's picking up her pace a little bit. She's exhaling on the compression and inhaling on those expansions. That way, as you're jumping, right? As you, if you're inhaling as you jump, the, dia the quick expansion of that diaphragm as you inhale actually helps throw that arm and kettlebell up. It really works in unison with that body expanding into that triple extension and generate a lot more power that way. Great job. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. All right. Section four is in the books. That is the jerk. Now, section five is going to be that snatch. Uh, if you don't do snatch, you can do a high swing. We'll have Sheena demonstrate that snatch for us. It's basically a high swing. You're going to quickly insert the hand as the bell's on the way up. You're going to fixate that bell overhead. Okay. 
Great job. Is that weight gonna be okay for you, Sheena? Let's grab the lighter one. This is an assessment, so we wanna do it safely. And there's a little magnesium over there, uh, chalk over there if you like it too. There we go. Three minutes can be a long time. All right, so uh, we just demonstrate the high swing real quick. If, they, if you don't do a snatch, you're gonna do a high swing. So uh, high, pull. high swing, swing, yeah. So swing it up over your head, basically about just above forehead. We call that about 11 o'clock, all right? You'll do 90 seconds on the left, 90 seconds on the right. Now, if you feel like your, stuff, uh, your, your form is breaking down, you can, you can stop early, all right? Just do as much as you can, but we only get one hand, uh, one hand switch here. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Good job. Good job. Bring your left leg towards me a little bit, Sheena. There we go. A slightly offset stance will help you generate a little bit more power on these single arm swings and snatches and cleans. So if you're snatching with your left hand, your left foot can be slightly in front of your right and vice versa. The quicker, the deeper your hand insertion, the softer you're gonna catch it. Good job. Good. We have 30 more seconds until the switch. Good job. Now you're getting it. Let that free arm be free. You can always rest in that overhead position as well. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Nice safe hand switch here. Final 90 seconds of snatch. Good job. So Sheena started with her non-dominant side. And so now she's tired, she has that strong hand to fall back on. One of those pro tips you learn when you're part of that pro kettlebell program. Good job. Trying to incorporate those double knee bends. Getting a little a longer, higher backswing, storing up some of that power, getting that stretch reflex out of those hamstrings. So you can really slingshot it up and over into that overhead lockout position. Making sure to fixate the kettlebell for a split second overhead before you start that next rep. Good job. Good job. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, good job. Outstanding. Section five's in the books. Section six is our final uh, assessment section here. We have long cycle or clean and press for three minutes, 90 seconds per side. So the clean and press or the, the long cycle is simply one clean and one jerk or one clean and one press. So here's the clean and jerk. All right, you already did the jerk, so you should know that. And you're just gonna blend that seamlessly together with those cleans, or you can simply do a press, a clean and a press. Good. All righty, one hand switch, 90 seconds per side. Great. You need anything? Lemonade. Lemonade, all right. Here we go. Final three minutes of hard work and then we're gonna get to stretch it out and cool it down in five, 
four, three, two, one, let's get it. Great job. I've been doing these 21 day challenges for about all oh, four or five years. And this has been one of the best ways to start a fitness journey that we've ever done. We've, I know people who started their very first kettlebell workout with a 21 day challenge and they're still doing it four or five years later. Each time they do it, getting better and better results. Good job. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch it up. Under a minute remains. Good job. Thirty more seconds. Great job. Ten more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, and one. Beautiful work, great job. Outstanding. All right, before you run, run out of here to go hop in the shower, let's do a little cool down deload stretch here. We're gonna start with a forward fold rag doll. So you're gonna lean forward with those hips here and just let your body kind of relax and rag doll, trying to keep those knees fairly straight here. We're gonna do that for about 30 seconds. Starting now. So we've got 30 seconds of this forward fold rag doll, and then we're gonna do a forward fold with a twist where you're gonna choose one arm from that forward fold position and then reach the sky with it. You'll hold it for 15 seconds, then you'll do the same thing on the other side for 15 seconds. Go ahead and work your way up slowly. Give your Self a chance to unload out of that position. Now forward fold with the twist here. Fold at the hips, reach to the sky with one arm. Okay, hold that for about 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now other side. Get a good twist for your, through your torso here. Got another five-ish seconds, and then we're gonna go into a quad stretch, followed by pigeon. All right, go ahead, come on down to the floor here. You're gonna reach back with your right arm, grab that right foot, hit that quad stretch. Okay. 
Give me another 15 seconds on this quad here, and then we're gonna have you uh, bring that leg up into the pigeon, which is gonna be easier for uh, Sheena to demonstrate than it will be for me to explain here. Three, two, one. Okay, so you're gonna bring that right foot up, okay, cross your body, lie the shin down flat, kind of leaning forward, trying to get into that hip and glute. Thank you. Good job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's go back down flat again. We're gonna do that quad stretch on the left side here. 30 seconds of quad on the left, followed by pigeon pose on the left. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and transition into that pigeon. Good job. 15 more seconds. And then we'll bring it on back to center. We'll sit our hips back onto our heels. We'll walk our hands forward for child's position. Four, three, two, one. Let's bring it back to center. Sit your hips back onto your heels here, knees on the ground. Walk your hands forward till you feel a stretch through your lumbar and your lats. Really try to stretch it out. Let the weight of your body sink down so your chest comes closer to the ground. Your hips come closer to the ground. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three two one great job looking forward to seeing all your progress and your strength gains during that 21 day strength challenge thank you sheena for your hard work we'll see you soon bye <laughs>